What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In that What's up, guys? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Yes, I got my man Sweet T right here hanging out with us today. Uh, I like your shirt, man. I like your shirt too, dude. Why well, you gotta wear the same shirt? Bro, I had this shirt on first. You did have it on first. <laughs> Thank you. For but I'll start well on that, okay? It's a really nice shirt. I love it. You That's know, neither here nor there. But if you guys would want one, we got our merch happening. Yeah. Go to pitchblackfightshop.com. Get your merch, Wonder Boy merch, Upstate Karate, Fight Sports, Pitch Black Fight Sports, Sweet T-Shirts. We got it all. But anyway, we're going to be talking about what fights this Saturday, man. I'm excited. First fights in UFC what feels like years. It does feel like years, man. UFC 249, yeah. It's going to be in Florida. Good old Jacksonville. But we got, we're going to talk about just a few fights. We got co -main. Who's co -main, Mr. Tony? co -main, we got Dominic Cruz versus Henry S Triple Cringe. <laughs> all right, who's co co -main? Coco is Francis Ngannou mm -hmm. versus Jarzino Rosenstruck. It's gonna go one way, or actually two ways. Either they're gonna go out there Official and knock each other out. Official prediction of that fight: Go. Either they're gonna go out there and knock one of, one, of, one of each other out, or through two punches are gonna be thrown and they're just gonna sit and stare at each other the rest of the time. Yeah, very similar to old uh, Derek Lewis versus Ngannou. Right. It's gonna be about four and a half strikes thrown, <laughs> and one of them might knock the other person out. Or that's just... It's going to be the most boring fight of all time. And then we got the main event. We have Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje, which is I am super excited for. You know what I'm not excited for? Is that we may not see, depending on how the fight goes, Khabib versus Tony Ferguson. It may not happen. Which is what everybody's been, been wanting. Know. So it depends on who wins. But I think it's going to be a great fight. I think it's going to be amazing. I think um, it's knowing both fighters and seeing what both fighters are capable of and how they fight every time. It's going to be nuts. Oh, and man. what WB is going to break down something specifically, what's that going to be? Darce choke. So something that Tony Ferguson is notorious for, he's tapped a lot of guys out with the Darce choke, and he threatens his opponents a lot with it. So at some point in time, not going to go into crazy, crazy detail with it. I'm going to show you guys how it's done or how it could be done this weekend, just listen for the commentating, listen for these guys to mention the, 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 the Dars, all right? Because Tony Ferguson is very long. I think Gaethje's gonna have a hard time getting past Tony Ferguson's reach. Yeah. And Gaethje's notorious president in the later rounds should just gas himself out. Correct. You've seen that in the Dustin Poirier, you saw that in the... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of his losses, he's just kind of like... He's kind uh, of tired out. When he, even though he is tired, right. he doesn't stop walking forward. He doesn't stop walking forward. Which, so, he's going to run into something. Exactly. And Tony can go for days. Like, that guy mm -hmm. does not get tired. Now, I know a lot of people are mentioning, oh, but he cut weight like two weeks ago. Tony Ferguson's a wrestler. He's been cutting weight like once a week pretty much his entire life. In his wrestling career, the guy's used to it. He's going to be able to make weight. Right. But, I see, but how I see it going in the later rounds, Tony Ferguson is going to wear Justin Gaethje down. Ended up, boom, knocking him down with something and possibly finishing with the Darce, which he's very good Falling at. Falling into a Darce, yeah. You may see him jump upside down like you've seen him do in the past and try and go for like an ankle uh, heel hook or something. He's you know, just you don't know so what he's going to do. He's got so many tools. He's crazy. He's crazy in his fighting. <laughs> and he's crazy and outside his, his fighting. His, and yeah, it shows in the cage. He just will go for anything. Like He's very in-the-moment guy. He'd just be rocking weightlifting gloves. <laughs> to a press conference, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> blue weightlifting gloves dude, and sunglasses. Just all black and then blue, blue weightlifting weight. gloves, no fingers, cut off fingers, you know, that good stuff. So, yes. yeah, I see it going one of two ways. Gaethje finishes the fight early, catches Ferguson, or Gaethje get, gasses out, Ferguson doesn't stop, slices him up, and then... Boop, boop, elbows for days. Submits him or TKOs him later in the fight. Dars. Official Look for opinion. this thing. So let, yeah, that's how it's going to go. So let's get into the Dars. Let's get into the old DRs. Now, how I've seen it done in the past, especially with uh, Tony Ferguson. Old t -Ferg. Guys get, either he, he rocks them, boom, guys shoot in. I've seen wrestlers shoot in on Tony Ferguson, which he loves it. He loves being on his back. He's very comfortable there. I mean, he grew up wrestling, and then he seeks in the Dars. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get with it. Let's do something. it. I see Tony Ferguson with an elbow, straight left, or a high knee. And then guys go into what we call panic wrestling, where guys get rocked. Tony hits me with a knee in close, boom, hey. and they start falling over the place. And the next thing you know, they're trying to shoot for the leg, <laughs> and which is what Tony Ferguson is definitely wanting, for yeah. sure. They're looking for that, that time to kind of recover, recoup. Right. So obviously your brain is still fuzzy. You're not super exact on what you're trying to do, and then you 
typically fall Which into. Which I've done that before. Something. When I fought Jake Ellenberg, got rocked, went straight into wrestling, and it saved me there. Yeah. But somebody with high level and long arms like Tony Ferguson, you're going to end up in a guillotine or, or a darce. Mm -hmm. And darces are dangerous. So I have Gaethje here. Okay, I've got long reach. So Gaethje's gonna have to work inside, leg kick, work inside, right? He blitzes inside, I hit him with the knee, boom! And he starts to go into that panic mode. He starts going for the leg. Now, one thing that's gonna happen is very simple. Tony Ferguson's gonna sprawl out, right? He's gonna take his legs back, pull Gaethje to the floor. Head control is very important with it, especially when it comes to the Dars. The arm that has the wizard here, see the arm here? That's gonna be my choking arm. Freeze. Just don't mess the hair up, you know what I mean? Oh, sorry. So your yeah. hand, there you I'll go. try not to. I know you got a nice haircut, Tony. Yeah. You look like a Peaky Blinder, blinder actually. Quality. So the arm that has the wizard going, that's gonna be your choking arm. So the hands are gonna be on the neck side, like so. So number one, getting this hand to the floor is very important, okay? Two, head control without him messing the hair up, sweet tea. I'm gonna push the head over. So I wanna be here, right? This arm is gonna go all the way across, just like so. Now what I like to try and do, I like to try and, <laughs> you're too wide, bro. Now, once I get the choke arm all the way through, then I lock up the arm. So I grab my bicep and I kind of crawl my hand up nice and high. Now from here, some people can finish here, but what I like to do is I like to lift up and I like to lay on my side like so. And I like to move myself closer to my partner's leg. Number one, it tightens this up. Two, it makes it harder for my opponent to breathe as well. So as I got this locked up, I walk closer if I can, I'll grab, I'll hook a leg, and I'll bridge my hips in as I squeeze the choke. Tony Ferguson ends up dropping Gaethje. Gaethje goes into panic mode, tries to wrestle, right? I've seen Tony Ferguson do this a lot. Ends up in a clinch position where the guy ends up here. Tony Ferguson drags him to the floor. Now, as you can tell, I have this arm like so. I've got a good wizard, good overhook here. This is going to be my choking arm. So my hands are going to be on the neck side of my opponent. So once I drag him down to the floor, I want to push the head over. I want to take my arm as far underneath as possible. Now from here, I take my arm and I push the head over and I grab the bicep. Now, I like to walk my hand up, which tightens up the dars. Now some people can finish here, but most people like to pull them to the side. They like to tuck and lay to the side. Now once I get here, this is now it's really tight. I'm constantly squeezing and moving my hips closer to my opponent, which forces the head down and tightens the choke up. Now, some people like to hook the leg, see if they can hook a leg, and then bridge their hips, which tightens that choke up. Now, as you can tell, it doesn't take long for your opponent to go out, okay? Gonna cross the legs. Slap the neck. You all right? You all right? You good? You all right, man? Did you choke me out again? I did. I choked Wait. him out again. You obviously got me in the proper position. That's why yeah. I'm awake. Yeah, Cro across your legs, slap your neck. Woo. Somehow, it saves like people's lives. It's like the go-to position. If you ex ever After, especially you hit it with a key blast. Key blast somebody to sleep, yeah. you gotta cross the legs and slap, slap the neck. Slap the neck. Good job, man. Thanks, so look for the Darce choke, you guys. Look for the Darce choke this Saturday. Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje. It's gonna be a barn burner, but listen to the commentators and see if you can recognize then that, that Darce choke. All right, now you know what you're looking for, okay? Now you know if they mention Dars, you know exactly what they're talking about. So this week is going to be awesome, which reminds me, you guys, me and Sweet Tea are going to be going live for the UFC 249 on my YouTube channel. So come join me and my man Sweet Tea. We're going to be commentating. We're going to be talking about the fights. We're going to be watching the fights with you guys, just having a good time. Ask your questions. It's going to be an awesome time. This Saturday, the, the main card starts at 10 p.m. Yeah, is that We're going to go live for the final three fights. Oh, so Coco Main, Co Main, and then Main. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us. Dar Choke Predictions, we got you coming. Check us out this Saturday. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then I'm going to kick your face. I'm happy.